Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You can email me, chris at perillo.com, and I know plenty of you do. You can ask just about any question you can think of. may not know the answer. I may not answer you at all, but that doesn't mean that I'm not reading your emails. Lucky enough for El Gali Bukareb. And, uh, you'll have to pardon me if I slaughtered the pronunciation of your name. Uh, is lucky enough to get a response from me uh, in terms of his question. He writes, he said, I think it's a he. I would like to know if you know how to zero out the data on a Mac. I have just started being a Mac user and am preparing for the Leopard upgrade. I also want to ask you if Leopard was a worthwhile upgrade for some who does a little of Aperture and Photoshop CS3. Well, uh, in terms of uh, software uh, and being ready for Leopard, um, you know, I wait a few revisions before upgrading, specifically in relation to Aperture as well as Adobe's products. Uh, give it a few months. But in terms of zeroing out data, uh, that's kind of built in to OS X. Has been for a while. As a matter of fact, you don't need to install anything with OS X to empty your trash or to delete files in a secure fashion. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the secure trash feature uh, uses the 35 pass Gutman algorithm, which is, uh, <clears throat> let me just put it to you this way, no one's going to recover that file. Now see, normally when you delete a file, and we've talked about this before, uh, it sits in a, f a folder, like your recycle bin on Windows or the trash bin on OS X, Th that's just a folder. It's, it's just treated differently than other folders. Then when you empty the trash or empty the recycle bin, you're not really erasing the traces of those files or where those files once existed on your hard drive. And because of that, someone could come along and recover that data if you did not erase the data. You may have just deleted it, in which case some of that data may still be there. You just deleted the pointer to it, but erasing it would eliminate all traces of that data altogether. And as I said, it's built right into Mac OS X. You're looking specifically for the empty securely feature, also known as secure empty trash. Uh, this is, can be found in the finder menu. That's the secure empty trash option. May take a little longer to uh, erase your data or empty your trash in a secure fashion, but that's because it's overwriting uh, that same space on your hard drive where that file is and or was so that nobody could go back and recover it. Now, as far as uh, the PC or Windows is concerned, you're, you're probably better off downloading a file. Uh, it's free. It's called Eraser, of all things, uh, at Heidi dot let's see if I can remember this Hi, it's been forever Heidi.ie forward slash eraser and in fact they've got a new version for Vista it looks like this is also using uh, I believe uh, Gutman's method or algorithm for uh, securely wiping out data where it once stood on your hard drive so just emptying the recycle bin or emptying your trash bin uh, isn't doing enough if you really want to make sure no one is ever going to be able to uncover or undelete those files. Uh, you want to make sure they're absolutely gone, that is if they never existed, and that is why you would use something like the secure trash emptying method or using the eraser program on Windows. I'm not going to go into the whole Linux scenario because you probably already know what the Linux scenario is, and I'm don't really even know to go, need to go into it. So, uh, you know, that's a, a good question to ask. Um, certainly a fundamental question because we all wrestle with uh, deleting data, but we don't always think about erasing the data. And yes, I do believe they're uh, two separate terms, specifically when we're talking about uh, computing and uh, files that are on your computer. If you've got any other questions or maybe suggestions, tips, tricks, top fives, whatever, you can email me to chris at perillo.com, as I said in the beginning of this video. And you're also welcome to swing by the chat room to take a part in our daily poll, as well as to chat, because that's what people generally do in the chat room, where I'm 
I'm streaming video 24 hours a day and other people are as well if I'm not here. Um, plenty of help to go around whether you have questions or if you have answers. We'd certainly welcome you at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.